Good evening. We're getting ready to start the program at this time. Actually, we're, we are going to start the program at this time. I'll start by extending to you a very warm welcome, and I would like to introduce myself at this time. I'm Ramiro Salazar, director of the San Antonio Public Library System, and it's a great pleasure for me to welcome you here to this very special event this evening. So this evening we will, we will be honoring 13 very, very special leaders and advoca advocates of the San Antonio Public Library. They will be receiving the ELLA Award, which stands for Exceptional Library Leaders and Advocates. This is the third year for the San Antonio Public Library to be presenting the award. It's actually presented by the San Antonio Public Library Board of Trustees. Um, before we begin, there's a few housekeeping items that I would like to share with you. First of all, if you park in the parking garage, uh, before you leave, you need to validate your, your parking. Uh, and you can validate it as you go out the library. There's a circulation desk to the right. We have a little apparatus there that you can val use to validate your parking ticket. So don't forget to do that, please. Um, and if you need assistance, we have staff uh, available. So at this time, I would like to recognize special guests that are here with us today. Uh, we have Linda Nairn, who's the vice chair of the Library Board of Trustees, and she's part of the program. I will invite her to the podium shortly. We also have Jean Brady, who's the immediate past chair. There's Jean. And represents District 1. Uh, Jean is also the chair of the Public Relations Committee. Uh, of the Library Board of Trustees who work with staff to create this award to honor uh, advocates and leaders of the library. We have another board member, uh, Ms. Joanne Harris, who's trustee and represents District 2. Thank you for being here, Ms. Harris. Andrea Sanchez, also a member of the Library Board of Trustees who represents District 4. Welcome. Marcy Enns, representing District 9 on the Library Board of Trustees. We also have Lily Gonzalez, the Executive Director of the San Antonio Book Festival. Welcome, Lily. Beth Graham, President of the Friends of the San Antonio Public Library. Beth, welcome. Brianna Kirk Simmons, she, she recently married. Congratulations. Brianna, where are you? There you are. Um, who is the Event and Special Projects Executive for the San Antonio Public Library Foundation. Our CEO and President for the Foundation, Tracy Bennett, couldn't be here this evening, so Brianna is here representing the Foundation, so welcome. We also have Tony Hernandez Serna representing Congressman Joaquin Castro. Welcome. So, with those housekeeping items out of the way, I would like to again share with you that this is a very special evening. And um, the Ella Award was created again to, again to recognize uh, very special individuals that work hard on behalf of the San Antonio Public Library in various capacities. And you will learn more about the, the, their contributions and why they were selected for this award. We're thankful that we have Mike Garofalo, who will be the Master of Ceremonies. He will be officially introduced by Linda Nerd shortly. But I got to know Mike uh, earlier today, and I found out that we have a connection. Um, he knows Del Rio. That's my hometown. Uh, his wife is from Del Rio, so we, we had a nice chat this afternoon. So it was kind of nice to know of that connection. Uh, there are not many folks that I know here in San Antonio from Del Rio. So anytime I know someone or I meet someone, uh, I make a big thing out of it. So at this time, I would like to, oh, before I forget. So after the program, uh, there will be a reception in the gallery. So I want to invite you all to join us, um, all of us, and the awardees uh, for a very nice reception in the gallery. So at this time, it's my honor and pleasure to invite to the podium our Vice Chair of the Library Board of Trustees, Linda Nair. Linda. Thank you, Romero. I'm happy to be here on behalf of the San Antonio Public Library's Board of Trustees in honoring today's award recipients. 
the San Antonio Public Library Board of Trustees in, created the Ella Awards, and if you'll notice up here, it has it written down, it's Exceptional Library Leaders and Advocates. So that's what that stands for. I had to look it up. Okay. <laughs> okay. They created the Ella Awards in 1996. Originally, it was known as the Library Champions Awards, and we honor notable contributions to the library system, because the library staff is very capable, but we can't. You know, it's nice to have help from their friends. These awards recognize individuals and community organizations for their substantial involvement with the library system. Those who have contributed time, talent, and or resources that have resulted in the enhancement of the library services in San Antonio. Nominations for ELLA awards can be submitted by anyone in the community and are then reviewed by the Public Relations Committee of the Library Board. So thank you to this year's nominators for recognizing the contributions of our honorees and for putting their names forward to the committee. Congratulations also to everyone here tonight who is receiving this prestigious honor. It's really, we're really proud to have you here. At this time, I'd like to invite Mike Garofola to present and recognize this year's Ella Award honorees. Thank you, Linda. I grew up in a small town in New Jersey, about a mile square, maybe a little bit more, about 10,000 people. And I just, one of the nice things I remember about my childhood is my mom always bringing my brother and I down to the library. And to the, I know exactly where the children's reading room is. The library is not very big, as you can imagine. But at least once a week when we were little kids, we always went down there. And then once I started riding my bicycle, I'd ride my bike down to the library. So library, a library, and that library have played a significant role in where I am today. Anyhow, I'm Mike Garofalo. I'm very pleased to be here with the ELO Awards and presenting them. Libraries, as you can imagine, serve a tremendous role in our community. And I'm honored to be among this crowd of exceptional library leaders and advocates. So sit back, relax, we're gonna get this show going. Just a little bit about how this is gonna flow. I'm gonna share a little bit about each nominee and then honorees. I will call to the front. We will have Ms. Lyndon Aaron, Vice Chair of the Library Board, and Jean Brady, former Chair and PR Committee Chair of the Board, here to hand you lovely awards. And then there'll be a quick photo and our team member over to the side, which is to your left, my right, will lead you off stage. Sound okay? Let's get going, okay. Our first ELLA Award honoree is Katie Flato. <laughs> Katie is being honored for her role as founder of the San Antonio Book Festival, a key partner of the San Antonio Public Library. The Book Festival, which celebrates its seventh year this past April, is the city's top event for celebrating literature, books, and authors who create them. The free public event hosts 90 authors each year who speak from venues located across the grounds of the Central Library and the Southwest School of Art. The event now draws, listen to this, more than 20,000 attendees every year. That's impressive. Now, the book festival has elevated the importance of reading literature in libraries and has brought significant publicity to the San Antonio Public Library through the years. So thank you to Katie for her significant role in bringing this incredible event to San Antonio and partnering with the San Antonio Public Library to offer this to the community. Katie is currently out of the country and not able to join us tonight. Accepting the award on her behalf is Lily Gonzalez, Executive Director of the San Antonio Book Festival. Lily, please come to the front to the accept the award, please. Let's have a round of applause for Katie Plato and the San Antonio Book Festival. There we go. I'm sorry, but 20,000 attendees per year is incredible. Thank you. And our next honoree is Pauline Larkin. Pauline is one of the most dependable volunteers at the Great Northwest Library. 
She plays a key role in organizing library materials at a high circulation branch by shelving items and filling customers' orders for holds and the circulating collection. She is also a significant contributor to the children's programming at Great Northwest Library. In fact, she recently performed a, at singing and storytelling program to a crowd of over 100 kids. That's impressive. Paulina is a true example of how volunteers can impact libraries and create memorable experiences to those who serve. A thank you to Pauline, and please come forward to accept this award. Please join me in giving a round of applause to Pauline Larkin. Nice work. All right, our next Ella Award is in honor of the late Miss Gloria Malone. Ms. Malone served as a library board of trustee for 18 years. She was an integral in bringing the Pruitt Branch Library at Roosevelt High School and Schaefer Branch Library to District 2, this district where she lived and volunteered her time as a tireless advocate to the importance of libraries. During her tenure, Ms. Ms. Malone contributed to launching 11 new library locations across the library system, as well as transitioning the system to a seven day a week service and increased the budget by 126%. Ms. Malone contributed her leadership to the Library Board of Trustees by serving in the position of vice chair and treasurer on the executive committee, giving generously of her time to advance the library's mission. Her contributions to the library and the San Antonio community will forever be remembered through the lives of individuals, children, and families who benefit from the library resources as well as services. Let's pause right now for a moment of reflection in honor of Gloria Malone. We now have the pleasure of this evening by being joined by many of Ms. Malone's family and friends. Thank you for being here. Mr. Joe Malone, if you would please come up to accept this award, we would appreciate that. Please join me in a round of applause and appreciation for Mrs. Malone. Thank you. All right, our next Ella Award honoree is Linda Marquez. Linda is one of the most dedicated volunteers at the Johnston Branch Library. She is a retired teacher who volunteers her time to the Johnston Branch for whatever they need, whether it's executing a special event such as a Day of the Dead celebration or delivering interactive and engaging programs for children as well as teens. Linda has dressed up as Dr. Seuss and taught teens to make corsages as well as everything in between. The Johnston staff especially appreciates how Linda brings positivity and inspiration to the team and reminds everyone about the important work of the library staff in the community. Thank you to Linda for her leadership, her time, and her dedication. Please come to the front to accept your award. Thank you, Linda. And our next Ella Award honorees, they are Sally and Ruben Rendon. Sally and Ruben Rendon's passion for the San Antonio Public Library has been demonstrated throughout the years. The Rendons have dedicated their lives to public service and helping communities, including libraries, across the west side and south side the neighborhoods that they grew up in and hold dear to their hearts. It was 15 years ago that they founded the Los Palmas Branch Library Book Club, which is now one of the longest running book clubs in the library's history. And they believe wisdom and strength can be found through the resources and programs of the library, which is their daily inspiration. And they, were act they are actively involved in a social media throughout community centers, such as the YWVA and Good Samaritan Center, 
where they regularly share information about library programs and services. And thank you to Sally and Ruben Rendon for serving as champions of libraries. Please come to the front to accept your awards. Thank you so much. Our next Ella Award honoree is Jeffrey Sullivan. Jeffrey Sullivan and his team have presented dozens of programs of the supernatural kind throughout multiple San Antonio Public Library locations for the past 10 years. That's right, and Jeffrey is the founder of Sixth Sense Paranormal, it's a group dedicated to the investigation, documentation, and study of paranormal phenomena and activity. He's also a professor for Alamo Community Colleges and leads presentations on the findings of San Antonio ghost investigations. There you go. Programs offered by Jeffrey and Sixth Sense Paranormal have provided new and unique learning opportunities for our community. Thank you for Jeffrey for his generosity and time and knowledge as well. Please come to the front to receive your award. Thank you, Jeffrey. All right. Our next Ella Award honoree is Jordan Vexler Shannon. Jordan has been actively involved with supporting the library for many years, both as a San Antonio Public Library Foundation member and a volunteer of her time and talents to various library initiatives as well as projects. Her passion for the library led to her to serve as the San Antonio Public Library Foundation's board chair from 2017 through 2018. During her leadership as chair, the foundation donated more than, listen to this, $1.8 million to the San Antonio Public Library to use for resources, programs, as well as events. Pretty impressive. Libraries have been central to Jordan's personal journey from her first childhood memories, fumbling through picture books to endless hours studying in graduate school to taking her marriage vows at Mission Branch Library. Thank you to Jordan for giving her time to help libraries and make a difference in the lives of so many people. Please join us at the front to accept your award. Thank you. All right, our next Ella Award honorees are a group of exceptional local community members, the Katrina Ball 2018 co-chairs. Thanks to the contributing efforts of Amy Garcia, Nasik Lali, Herrera Salazar, and Heather De Rojas, and the library, Central Library was transformed into a Dia de los Muertos street party with purpose to raise funds for the San Antonio Public Library and specifically the Latino Collection and Resource Center. The second annual Katrina Ball held in October of last year attracted more than 800 people dressed in full Dio de Muertos fashions and was a well talked about and photographed event throughout the community and social media channels raising the profile as well as the importance of the library. Thank you to the successful event led by the Katrina Ball co-chairs. The Library Foundation was able to gift $50,000 to the Central Library's Latino Collection and Resource Center. So a big thank you to Amy Siglali and Heather for their leadership and dedication to the library. Amy and Heather are unable to be with us tonight, but Siglali, please come forward. Be honored. Thank you. Thank you.
And our final Ella Award honorees are Isabel Ann Castro and Natasha Hernandez, founders of International Keep it coming. Feminist Zine Saint Susha. Now, if you're wondering what Zine is, it's a self-published work of original text and images. And to explain it in the words of Isabel and Natasha, Zines are everyone's novels and newspaper, a place to put what won't fit when we try to write it on a wall. There you go. Together, they have carved a space for Latinx women to express their stories of identity, religion, gender, as well as sexuality. Isabel and Natasha partnered with the library in presenting the 2017 San Antonio Zion Fest and additionally presented several Zion making workshops at the library, inspiring others to create their own avenues for expression. Now, by collaborating with Isabel and Natasha, the library has been able to attract new customers, introduce them to the Latino Collection and Resource Center, and give voice to a new generation of authors and artists for historically marginalized communities. Thank you to Isabel and Natasha for dedicating their time and talent to this wonderful expression of creativity for library patrons. Please join, please join us, that is, at the front to accept your award. Thank you. Now, a very big congratulations to all of our award winners tonight. What a wonderful variety of people who are giving of their unique and specialized talents to strengthen and promote the importance of libraries. And it has been an honor to be your master of ceremonies this evening. And you, of course, have been a wonderful audience. Now, at this time, Linda Nairn will come back to the podium and share a few closing remarks. behalf of the library group, I want to thank you for doing this for us, and we need to be, I would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge that Mike Garofalo, Mike is a well-known and experienced journalist. You might recognize him from local news. Thank you. Thank you. And as a token of our appreciation, we have a gift for you, and this is the official 300 years of San Antonio and Bear County book. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. Okay. Also, on behalf of the San Antonio Public Library and the Board of Trustees, I once again congratulate each of tonight's award winners. Thank you for your contributions. And at this time, I invite everyone to stay and enjoy the reception. And it's just in the room next door, so you can go that way or you can go out through the hall and the door there. Okay. And thank you so much for coming. Okay.